here viewers uh, this is the continuation video to my previous video on isometric projection so here i am going to uh, uh, draw the isometric uh, view for the question number 2 here the question number 2 was uh, draw the isometric view of the hexagonal pyramid of base side 30 mm and axis length 60 mm that is resting on hp in its base okay so open the software the finish the basic settings millimeters so before uh, starting our isometric view we have to draw the 2d views that is front and top view to the orthographic projection we have to draw first okay. So the given shape is hexagonal pyramid. So the true shape is hexagon. So based on the question, it is resting on HP. So you will get the true shape on horizontal plane. Okay, when you see from the top, you can able to see the true shape. So first we have to draw the hexagon on horizontal plane. Let's take a line. below the uh, line is HP so you have to draw the hexagon so type polygon 6 H method okay regarding the hexagon uh, the position of hexagon they didn't give any condition so you can orient the way you want okay so I'm going to take like this so the side length is 30 mm I'm going to move it a little bit up. So I'll give name to all the corners. Drawing the projection based on first angle of projection. So now let's put a word behind that. Because it is a prism, we have to connect all the corners. So yes, it is a pyramid, we have to connect all the corners to the center. Now we got the uh, the top view. Now we have to get the front view. We have to project uh, vertical lines up to this reference line. So we have to uh, project line from all the corners as B and C is lying on same line with the F and E so I am not uh, taking any line from B so I am taking line only from F so center also you put a line because for a pyramid you have to mark the axis length at the center at the axis so the axis length is 60 mm and you have to connect all the base corners from this X point Again, using the text command. So this is A dash B dash within bracket F dash C 
dash within bracket t dash the last one is so i'll mark the dimension okay the axis length is 60 mm okay. i'll also check the side length of the x again yeah, is 30 so this line we have to change to a center line type so go and load the center line type Now this is the uh, top and front view. So based on this, we are going to uh, now I'm going to draw the isometric view. So if it is an isometric view, then you have to draw it at true length. So before that, I will put a box around this X again. give names for this uh, corner of this box this is one two three and so on now for the isometric view first draw horizontal line okay so we have to shift this point one onto this line Corner one onto this line. So before that, we have to measure this distance. This distance of one four and then one two. Okay. So now this line. So I'm taking a midpoint of this line. Switch off the ortho mode. So fifty one point fifty one point nine six. Press tab. So this uh, uh, this it should be rotated at 30 degree for isometric view. So this should be 150. Similarly, other line, other side, it also should be rotated at 30 degree. Length is 60. Press tab 30. So in order to complete this box, we take copy, enter, take a space point, put it at the other end. Similarly for other side also. Select Control C Control V. Okay. Now I got this box here. Now we have to mark this uh, hexagon within this box. So A is at the midpoint of one and four. Okay, so I will first I will the mark the corners. So this is one, two. So for marking the corners, I'm going to use the point. Okay, so put a point at this midpoint of one and four line. Okay, this is going to be D A. Similarly, D also we can fix it. Midpoint of two and three. So now I have to find out what is the length of one. To be 15 mm, so draw a line uh, for 15 mm plus tab 30. So put a point here. Yes. So from here, one more line for from this point, one more line for 30 on the same on to edge. Okay. So 30 plus tab 30. So point, put a point here. Now we have to now I'm going to transfer this copy this point onto this line three and four. Take control C. Select only the points. Okay. Copy. Select one as base point. Put it at. Okay. 
now using line option connect all the points this is a b c d e f and then again at a okay now uh, we got the bottom face now we have to get the slant edges so before that we have to mark this axis and I have to get this apex point O dash point so for this what I am going to do so I am going to draw a line okay connecting these two corners so here uh, so the here yeah, we have to measure this line length of this line Okay, starting from point A to O, which is 30. So similarly, distance of this is 25.53. this and to the point at the midpoint which is here we can take a line from this midpoint to connect here okay now from this I have to place a vertical line for 60 degrees. Okay. Similarly, from corner 1 also place one vertical line. So this line is for 60 mm. Now copy the bottom face box now only the box okay don't copy all the edges only the box okay copy take one as base point put it at the top connect to this from this midpoint okay. now put the box connect the top and bottom face of each box Now this is going to be the apex point. Okay. From this point, we have to connect all the base corners. Okay. Connect only the visible corners. Okay, this one is visible. Only these four slant edges, and then uh, three edges at the bottom. Only these edges are visible like this. Change, change the line weight as well as the color. So the remaining things we can delete.
so this edges are hidden edges so we can delete all those edges including points So this is A, B, this is C, or as B, F are not visible, so this F is visible, okay, uh, D and E are not visible, according to this isometric orientation of the zone. This is the final output, the final isometric view. Next example is isometric projection that I will explain you in the next video. Thanks for watching.